Foremost, I want to thank everybody for coming today and taking part in this charity game. And I want to thank uh, Alabama, you know, for coming up here and bringing their team and, you know, providing uh, our fans a great opportunity. Plus, see a great game, plus, you know, raise money for, uh, you know, stroke awareness. Today, and I didn't know this till this morning, today is National Worldwide Stroke Day. Did you guys know that? I didn't. I got, an, I got a text message this morning from Dr. Brubaker, our FAR. He sent me an article, amazing article that's actually in Forbes magazine. And uh, I'm going to give you just a couple things and then we'll get to the game. But 33,425 people are going to have a stroke today. And only 1,000 people are going to get life saving treatment. So, what we did here today is something that's really, really important to help people that can't afford health care, can't afford getting the right treatment, don't live in the right place. If you witness somebody who has a stroke, you got to, what they say, be fast, okay? You got to have, you check their balance, check their eyes, which was one of the problems with my wife. Facial droop, which she didn't have till she got in the hospital. Arm or leg weakness, which she definitely had, and problems with speech. Okay, those are things, those are tall tale signs. And when you see those things, you got to act. You got to call 911 right away. Uh, I don't know if you guys, I didn't know, every minute a stroke goes untreated, you, you lose two million neurons in your brain are destroyed, okay? There's only 3% of the people in the world have access to life-saving treatment. And what that treatment is, is clot busting medication, which my wife had, and clot extraction, which she didn't. Many low-income co low countries do not have specialists. Racial and ethnic minorities in the United States are a lot less to receive this type of treatment. The World Health Organization predicts that over, in, by 2030, strokes will become the leading cause of global disability. Okay, it can happen to anybody at any age, at any time. Like my, I told you, my wife, she she had very low cholesterol, very low blood pressure, and she sw she swims every day. But it was just it happened, and there's an urgent need to reorganize. I think healthcare systems to provide stroke treatment, secure adequate funding, which we worked on today and well-trained workforce to make treatment uh, accessible.